Uh, Mr. Quist, you said in an interview with the Bozeman Daily Chronicle that you may support a national registry for certain types of weapons. Can you explain which weapons you were referring to and why? <laughs> Well, first of all, that's, that was, uh, we, you know, this is uh, uh, fully automatic assault rifles are already required to be registered. That is a given. Everybody knows that. And the fact that, I'm, that uh, they're saying that I'm calling for a, a national gun registry is just patently false. Look, I grew up in a ranching and farming community. And we have, we have had, uh, you know, gun safety as a way of life. And, um, I've got guns that are much older than the number of years that Mr. Gianforti has been in the state. I will say this too, that I have support of all these different hunting, hunting and sports uh, anglers, you know, all the Sportsman's Alliance groups are backing me in this because they know that, that uh, what he is saying is merely a smokescreen. I have stated before, I support our Second Amendment rights and, uh, and so that's where I stand on this matter. Mr. Wicks, you get 30 seconds. Okay. I've spent most of the last 20 years working in the gun industry, attending gun shows all over the state. I'm probably the biggest supporter of the Second Amendment there ever has been running for this office. I believe that in this case that your right to bear arms actually is more important than the Constitution. The right to defend yourself, your property, and your loved ones transcends that. And when push comes to shove, we've seen Democrats always cave on gun control every time they toe the party line. Mr. Gianforte, 30 seconds. Well, this is a clear point of distinction. I'm the only candidate here that's been endorsed by the NRA. I have an A rating. Rob has an F rating. He said in January of this year to the Bozeman Chronicle that we should take our guns down to DMV, register them, and then register our guns, register our vehicles, and then register our guns as well. Also, although he said multiple times that He's put a lot of meat on the table hunting. Well, he hasn't had a hunting license in the last 15 years. Mr. Quist, you get the last 30 seconds. <clears throat> you know, first of all, I think that it's really important to note that the number one reason that people no longer hunt and fish and recreate is a loss to access to public lands. And quite frankly, uh, Mr. Gianforti has a big problem with that. As, as he's working with, he's funded and given tens of thousands of dollars to some of the groups whose sole intent it is to take away our public lands. And he's also blocked stream access, you know, to uh, on the East Gallatin River. So I think that his record on this is very clear.